Hi there, I am Black Bride, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes, into your space, into your life. Thank you for passing through on my channel. Um, yeah, um, I talk about news, views, I talk about anything that I think might be of interest and I try to add my little two pence worth in it. And today I was, I was sent a video about funerals. Funerals in Jamaica. Well, not so much funerals, but what the gravestones look like. And I'm going to show you. Um, give you a, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, but I'm going to show you a graveyard in Jamaica, okay? And that's why I call it, you know, the pups even after them dead. You're a big man. Yeah, Jamaican cemetery, you don't think so, we're normal out here. Yeah. You have a dead and dying spirit style. Yeah, what you mean? See that? Yeah. How would this dead? So a young boy the dead. How did dead? 99? No, this year? No, 2016 in dead. What? Which part? You have one up there, sir? Up there, sir? I'll play and see there. I'm not going to joke with the thing. Hold them, Jamaica, hold them. <laughs> I tell you, you know, so when you're dead at Jamaica, you know, I'm not something, you know. <laughs> See it? Yeah. You get a bike if you have a biker. Yeah. If you have a baller, sit there. You see it? Ramp it with a Jamaica, you know. You put it down in style. Hold on, so I'm also over there saying I saw you today. Over there we go. We are zooming from the house there. I walk past one of them people like, do you get me? Yeah, I'll go over there. The man put Jamaica people in. Oh, I'll we'll put you down in style. I waste a poor and bossy. You see it? <laughs> oh, you mean? You see it, yeah? With all the driveway. Hold on, so a guitar there come up there, so a musician there. But we we'll soon come with that one there, that's not ready yet. That is a work in progress. Morning! See it there? You see it? With all the car go up in the driveway, you know? You see it? See the car go up in the driveway. I don't think I know how much in Jamaica, yeah. So, that's a coffin, you know? You see it? Hold them. You see it? Two story. When I dig something there. Big up his head, light up there. Oh, the light, yeah. Oh, they also have light. No, see better solar light, you know. See there? See solar panel there? Eh? I see light there for the house. Yeah. You think I, you don't think I play plenty in the SM? Show you. Hey. <laughs> eh? Well, I thought I would share that with you because, you know... You know, funeral is a sad time normally, and we find more in time when we go to funerals. People don't seem so sad anymore. I mean, depending on how close the person was to you, it seems to be a time of merriment and enjoyment and remembering the people who've passed on without taking it too much to heart. Of course, it's a mother or a father you're bound to be devastated. But you know, people, you know, they're going down in style. Did you see those graveyards? I know my mum, she's already paid for her funeral. She's paid for the white horses. She's paid for the carriage. She wants to be buried in a white Victorian wedding gown. She's paid for all the flowers. She's paid for the reception. She's paid for everything. And, you know, but when you think about people who are, um, who are put to rest in that way is it the people who are well off who can afford to do that have the people have passed on have they um contributed because in the uk we have packages where you can actually pay towards your funeral you pay so much a month so that by the time you pass on there's no financial incurrence on the family the family is not in debt the family doesn't need to borrow to bury you and it's a much more considerate process sometimes people because their loved ones die they want to give them the best that some of them end up borrowing they end up in debt because 
they're not cheap. I mean, I was looking at um, some funeral plans in Jamaica. On average, they're, they're about 8,000. Yes, you're going to get a very, very minimal one for 1,000 US dollars. But the majority of them are about 8,000 US dollars. And it's the same, in the same price in the UK. You're looking between 6,000 pounds and goodness knows anywhere upwards from that. So I think that when um, it all depends, does the burial or does the send off represent the person who died or is it the people behind who want to prove something? You know, because sometimes it's about competition, even in death. People want to be bossy, even in death. Like they said, you know, the Nanama, Jamaica's Nanama, them bossy. Even after they've passed on, they want the best. And it's like my mother, even when she, you know, she's asking for a high neck because she has a liver deficiency and she has a mark on her neck. So she wants a high neck. So even after she's dead, she has pride. You know, and I find that's a very Jamaican thing. You know, pride, having the best, bossy. And when somebody sent me that video, I said, I have to talk on it. But, you know, I want to, you know, apart from the lighthearted side of it, we do have to think about the pressure funerals do have on families. And it is a time when families do pull together, but it's usually a time when people don't really have it. So if you are in a position to start saving up for your funeral, taking the burden off of your family and your loved ones, it's best to do it. It's much more considerate. If you can be considerate in life, you can be considerate in death. And that is one of the ways, especially now when they're so expensive, to take the burden off of those you leave behind. They're already grieving. And at that time of grief, they, they're probably spending, they don't even think about what they're spending. But it's after the grief wears off and they're still paying for a funeral or they're still paying, you know, for the whole process. And that isn't good. So I just wanted to, I didn't know whether or not they, they've been prepaid. I don't know whether or not they're celebrities when you see those, that big house with the car and everything. And they're so beautifully designed, you know, the guitar, the football one that was a bit more modest. But, you know, you kind of wonder to yourself, you know, how much does that cost? If on average a basic funeral costs about eight, eight grand, I wonder how much that one cost. So anyway, if anyone, <laughs> like well, I've been looking for this dress for my mum, this Victorian wedding dress for my mum, size 22 to 24. If anyone sees one, uh, let me know. <laughs> So I can work on seeing if I can get one. 22 to 24, that's UK size. My mum's quite big, but it must have a high neck. I've checked on eBay. I've checked everywhere. But you never know. You, somebody might be watching this and they might have, um, they might know where one is or they might have seen one and they can point me in that direction. Um, yeah, I think um, everyone, regardless of age, should have funeral fund or funeral insurance um, those left behind shouldn't fork out that large bill and have their grief exploited in that way and I think that's all I really wanted to say about that that's all for now bye bye